Welcome back everyone. You might be in a position where for some reason you keep getting this issue where it says unable to install update. Now again this can happen for really only one reason and one reason only. Actually there's two reasons. The first one, probably the more realistic one, probably don't have enough storage inside of your phone in order to even update the software in the beginning with or maybe even to download the software. So that's a humongous one. You want to go into your settings on any iPhone really. So hop into your settings. You want to scroll into general. You want to scroll down into iPhone storage, which is, and you want to just see how much storage you have available on your device. Now, for me personally, I have a lot left because I don't use this phone ever, but you can go ahead and swipe through and see exactly what's taking up the most amount of storage on your device. And for me, it's this iOS 13.5.5 developer beta. So I could go ahead and update to this and, you know, move on. But you want to see how much storage you have left. And most updates will take, you know, a couple gigs to a couple megs. So you want to see how much storage that specific update is. This one I can see right here took about 4.2 gigs, so I would like to save at least like 5 gigs, and that's on the higher side. That's a really, really big update. So you want to make sure you have at least a couple of gigabytes saved on your device before you go and update. That's a major, major thing you want to consider. And if you only have like a couple hundred megabytes left, that's probably the reason why you're not able to update your device, because you don't have the sufficient storage. So you want to go delete your apps, you want to download Google Photos, back up your photos, and then delete photos on your phone. So a lot of these apps, I don't use this phone so I can delete whatever, but for you personally, you want to go through, see exactly what's taking up the most amount of storage, and kind of see from there whether you can delete it or you won't delete it, and kind of tell from there, you know, what's going to happen. So in terms of the storage standpoint, that's really the main reason why you could be getting this specific error. But another one that could happen is, you know, if you don't have enough battery life on your device, if you have less than, say, like 20% battery, then you might actually not be able to go and update your phone, which again is another major thing. You want to, you know, download the software on your phone. You have to at least have a certain amount of percentage battery, and I think it's over 50% or over 20% when charged. So if you have a charger ready, you know, plug in your phone and go from there. So those are two ways on how to exactly fix this issue. Again, it shouldn't really be a major one as long as you can delete your storage and, you know, you have a charger ready behind you. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comments section below. The like button only so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, to my Instagram, my main channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.